My name is Maya, and beneath the facade of an ordinary life lies a secret that has brought both excitement and trepidation into my world. I have a penchant for cross-dressing. This aspect of my identity is not something I readily share, a clandestine hobby that has been a part of me for years, kept hidden in the depths of my soul. Yet, one lazy Sunday, the universe conspired to unveil this well-guarded secret to the person closest to me, my wife, Sarah. As the door clicked shut behind her, signaling her departure for a quick errand run, a wave of anticipation washed over me. The opportunity for some much-needed alone time presented itself, and I seized it with eager hands. My heart raced as I ventured into our bedroom, where a closet full of possibilities awaited. The array of colors and fabrics teased my senses, each garment whispering a promise of transformation. I chose a soft, flowing dress its material felt like a delicate caress against my skin. Slipping into the outfit, I marveled at the newfound sense of freedom and vulnerability that engulfed me. However, time slipped away unnoticed, and the door creaked open, shattering the tranquility of my clandestine moment. I turned to see Sarah standing there, her eyes widening in surprise. For a heartbeat, the room held its breath, the tension palpable. Unexpectedly, Sarah broke into a gentle smile, her eyes filled with a mix of curiosity and amusement. Well, this is a surprise, she remarked, her tone light and accepting. You look, stunning, actually. The weight lifted from my shoulders as relief flooded over me. But what came next was even more unexpected. Instead of questions or confusion, Sarah's smile widened and she stepped into the room with a sense of adventure. You know what, she said, her eyes twinkling. Let's make this a day to remember. And so, our lazy Sunday morphed into a day of exploration and shared discovery. Together, we delved into the depths of her wardrobe, a treasure trove of femininity waiting to be unearthed. Sarah became my guide in this uncharted territory, offering insights into fashion, style, and the intricate art of accessorizing. As the day unfolded, our living room transformed into a makeshift runway, and laughter echoed through the house. We experimented with different outfits, from dresses that swirled around me like a gentle breeze to skirts that accentuated my every movement. Sarah, with her expertise, applied makeup with an artist's touch, enhancing my features and bringing forth a version of myself I had never seen before. In the midst of our fashion escapade, Sarah suggested a trip to a nearby spa, turning our day of exploration into a luxurious retreat. Manicures, pedicures, and facials became a shared experience, each pampering session a testament to the beauty of self-care and acceptance. Throughout the day, our conversations flowed effortlessly, weaving through topics that ranged from fashion and beauty to life and love. Sarah's acceptance and encouragement created a safe space for me to be vulnerable and authentic, and our connection deepened in ways I hadn't imagined. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting warm hues across the sky, we found ourselves reflecting on the unexpected turn of events. What began as a secret revelation had blossomed into a celebration of authenticity and acceptance. Sarah's unwavering support had transformed what could have been a challenging moment into a beautiful memory, etched into the fabric of our relationship. That night, as we lay in bed, bathed in the soft glow of lamplight, Sarah turned to me with a warm smile. You know, Maya, I love you for who you are, no matter what you wear. Today was special, and I'm glad we shared it together. And so, the secret passion that once lurked in the shadows became a cherished part of our relationship, a testament to the strength of love and the beauty of embracing one another's true selves. In the tapestry of our lives, that lazy Sunday emerged as a vibrant thread, weaving a tale of acceptance, connection, and the unspoken beauty that lies in authenticity.